Hi, I'm Andrew Baronski, a English teacher at Huron Heights Secondary School. Uh, a little background myself, I've been in the Futures Forum program for about five years now, and um, I've been lucky enough to have a one-to-one -one classroom for the past couple years now and helped out with the implementation here at Huron Heights. Um, and it's been fantastic overall for both our staff, our students, our admin. Uh, the transformation I've seen just in a month uh, in the past uh, school year has been phenomenal. One thing that's really stood out to me is the change in teacher practice. Uh, without really any formal development coming from above, uh, we've talked a little bit as a staff, but um, I've seen more transformation in teacher practice and what teachers are doing in their classrooms with their students in the past month than I've really seen it honestly in the past six or seven years. And that's just come from the product of these devices coming down to classrooms and knowing each kid is going to have a device in their class and now teachers are stepping back and asking themselves, how does that change in my classroom? What can I do with that? And we're seeing some amazing things. Um, kids working online, the collaboration that's taking place. Um, we're seeing a lot more inquiry-based learning and project-based learning in our classrooms. Uh, it's really been transformed in a lot of ways. And the learning back and forth, um, students figuring things out on their own, uh, taking on it to themselves and sharing amongst each other. You see, I find one student solves a problem on Monday, and by Friday I hear a dozen kids talking about it using that solution. And that's working up towards our teachers too. They're coming to the staff room saying, the student was showing me this, and that's spreading through the staff room as well. Um, it's been, I really cannot say enough about what kind of change is brought about in just a month's time simply by just giving students devices and knowing that you have one-to-one -one in your classroom. Are there any uh, <coughs> suggestions that you'd have for other schools to prepare for this kind of initiative? Yeah, I think like for the admin teams, we sat down and talked as the three schools in June. There's a lot of talk about how this is going to look and the rollout. There's a lot of questions that pop up. And when you say like we're going to get 350 devices out, that sounds like a really scarily challenging idea. But uh, you really just need to kind of jump in with both seats and say we're going to make this happen. Um, both Huron and SJM had them out within the first day or two of class and it's gone great. And then we kind of like the device showed up a few days before and there's, don't get me wrong, there's some work involved with that and some great people behind the scenes doing some great things but it did work out. You just need to trust that it does, um, which is easier said than done. We are talking about a lot of money, but uh, it has played out that way, and that's been our experience. Just get them in the kids' hands, and you're gonna see amazing things happen. It sounds simple, and in a lot of ways it is, and it's been great. 